Oh, matter of fact, before we go in and watch this video, do me a solid. Hit the subscribe button below and the notification bell. About your history, what's your name, man? You say you got three questions. You got three questions? Okay, all praises. What's your question? So, appreciate you. Appreciate you. That's why I'm going to tell you. No problem, man. No problem. Um, so, I'm Puerto Rican. Okay. Right? I recently found out that I'm black to Indian, but I'm Puerto Rican. You know what I'm saying? I can barely hear you, sir. I said, I found out, I recently found out that I'm black to Indian and Puerto Rican. Okay. Alright? So, I thought that Puerto Ricans were all kings and queens. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. yeah. And I didn't realize that they weren't. So how is it that they're slaves? You know what I'm saying? When did it happen? Okay, that's a good question, right? So Puerto Ricans are kings because the Bible says that they're the Israelites. You said, uh, who, what, you said you were Puerto Rican and uh, Blackfoot, right? Yeah. What is your father? My father is Cuba, Puerto Rican. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So, My real father. According to the, okay, all praise. So according to the Bible, he would be from Ephraim. He would be from the same tribe as uh, like Joshua. You ever heard of Joshua in the Bible? So he would be an Ephraim, right, according to the Bible. So the question is, how did they become slaves, right? Okay, good, that's a good question. Go to, uh, give me, uh, what is it? Uh, yeah, yeah, get that. We're gonna start there and then we're gonna get uh, the Apocrypha, right? Read what you got. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So we're going to start there. The 12 tribes was given laws by God to keep and they broke those laws. One of those stipulations for breaking those laws was if you did it you were going to slavery. Right? So slavery for the northern kingdom because Ephraim Going down is called the northern kingdom of Israel. Judah, Benjamin, and Levi is called the southern kingdom of Judah when you read the, the scriptures and you get the history, right? So we're going to deal with Ephraim because Ephraim was the hand tribe of the, the, southern, the northern right. kingdom. He was the big dog. He was the big brother in, in the northern kingdom so that you understand, right? Hosea. So give me, nah, nah, give me, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, give me Hosea. Give me Hosea. No, no, give me King. Give me 1 Kings 17. Yes, sir. Right? In 21. We're going to get the history for you. Because they went into slavery to the Assyrians and they were cut off from their northern kingdom brothers. This is why in, uh, in uh, the time of Christ, he was dealing mainly with the northern kingdom, uh, the southern kingdom, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Right? That's why they were uh, saying things like, uh, uh, don't go to the Gentiles. We're not going to get into it too heavy, but that was talking about the southern kingdom or the northern kingdom. Read what you got. Second Kings, chapter 17, verse 21. For he rent Israel from the house of David. Right, so he divided the kingdom. The northern kingdom, Judah, Benjamin, I mean, uh, Ephraim, all of these guys, and the southern kingdom, Levi, Benjamin, Judah. He divided them, read. And they made Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, king. And Jeroboam drove, drove Israel from following the Lord and made them sin a great sin. Right, so Jeroboam had taught the northern kingdom to follow after idolatry, right? And because of that, they went off into the midst of sin and God had to judge them. Right. That's what was happening during this time. He made them worship uh, goats and idols instead of priests that weren't Levites. Uh -huh. Read. Verse 22, for the children of Israel walked in all the sins of Jeroboam, which he did. They departed not from them. They broke the commandments of God, like we read in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter, right? Read. Until the Lord removed Israel out of his sight, as he had said by all his servants, the prophets. So was Israel carried away out of their own land to Assyria or to this day. So you read about the first time they went into slavery was to the Assyrians, right? During the Assyrian captivity under, uh, what's the man's name? Uh, I think they, uh, I'm sorry? Not, not Nebuchadnezzar, uh, it says it. Uh, I ain't worried about it. Give me now. Give me um second Ezra's. Now, keep in mind, Salman uh, right? Salmanessa, right? Salmanessa took the northern kingdom into slavery during the time of the Assyrians, and uh, I think it was like what? Uh, can't, 
can't remember what, what time it was, right? But give me second Ezra's. Second Ezra's. So, yeah, it's Act 13. 13 verse 40. So, keep in mind, the northern kingdom went into slavery to the Assyrians. But then something happened that would have them on this side of the world, where now they call Puerto Ricans, Cubans, Colombians, so on and so forth, right? Read what you got. Second Ezra, chapter 13, verse 40. Those are the ten tribes. Remember, the ten tribes, the northern kingdom. Right, because they split the kingdom. Right, they split the kingdom. So it wasn't talking about this this part, it was talking about the other part. So right. these, was, these right here, from Ephraim down, is the north, right? Right, it's the northern kingdom, right? So it's talking about them in 2nd Ezra. Read. Right. Those are the ten tribes which were carried away prisoners out of their own land uh -huh. in the time of O.C., the king, who sat on the excuse me, who sat on Manasseh, who Salmanezer, the king of the Assyrians. Read. The king of Assyria led away captive, led them into slavery. Read. And he carried them over the waters, and so came they into another land. But they took this counsel among themselves. So when they went slavery to the Assyrians, they counseled amongst each other, and they decided to do something. Read. That they would leave the multitude of the heathen huh? and go forth into a further country huh? where never mankind dwelt. Read. Verse 42. That they Hold on, read that part again. Where never mankind dwelt. Where never mankind dwelt. So keep in mind that the northern kingdom, the ten tribes, went into a further country where never mankind dwelt. You understand? No man's land. Read. Right, no man's land. Read. Verse 43. Excuse me, verse 42. That they might there keep their statutes, which they never kept in their own land. Read. And they entered into Euphrates by the narrow passages of the river. Right, so they took a journey. Right, they entered into the river around the, the eastern part of Africa, into the Euphrates, and they took a journey all the way around here. And it's going to tell you that in the Bible. Read. Verse 44. For the Most High then showed signs for them and held still the flood till they were passed over. Verse 45. For through that country there was a great way to go. Namely, a year and a half. Somebody give me Arsarith in the Jewish Encyclopedia, read. And the same region is called Arsarith. So that same place that the northern kingdom went, where no man dwelt, was called Arsarith. Right? Now I'm going to show you what biblical scholars and uh, uh, Christopher Columbus knew about the land called Arsarith. Right? You with me? Can I get to my second question? Oh, real quick. I'm still answering oh, the first, right? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I got you. So watch this. It said that the northern kingdom were going to a place where never mankind dwelt called Arsarith, right? So, Read. Oh, I'm, I got you. I'm going to get to a question, but I want to okay. keep this thought. I'm sorry. Read what you got. This is the Jewish Encyclopedia, Arsarith. Uh -huh. The name of the land beyond the great river, far from the habitation of man. Where never mankind dwelt. Read. In which the ten tribes of Israel will dwell, observing the laws of Moses until the time of restoration, according to Second Esdras. Read. Columbus, who? Columbus. You paying attention? Yeah. Christopher Columbus, read. Identified America. Christopher Columbus identified America, where we stand on today, with this land. Christopher Columbus knew that your ancestors and mine came over to the Americas to keep the commandments of God. That's what the Jewish encyclopedia just said. So, how did our people get over here? The Native Americans and the Puerto Ricans, they came over here during the time of Esdras. Right. I thought he was, uh, I thought he was Latino too. Bro, Christopher Columbus was, a, was an Italian, right? But he wasn't our people. The people that came over here with Christopher Columbus. He might have been a Spaniard. Right, he, right, he, he, he might have been a Spaniard. Right, he might have been, been a Spaniard, right? But he wasn't our people. What Christopher Columbus and the Spaniards did was come over to the Americas, who they identified as Osiris, and they conquered who they know were Israelites. You understand that? I got you. Right. So they conquered these people in the 1490s. So in 1492, when Christopher Columbus and them came over, who were they conquering? The Northern Kingdom of Israel. Right. right. That mother. That's what he was doing. No, that's that's fine. That's what he was doing. Thank you. That's what he was doing. All praises. So what's the, what's the next? One? We used to scream Black Power while Heron was pushed, but at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. 
Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.